title of this segment is called What Design Means to Me. When people think of the term design, they usually think of a physical object or something that's on the screen. For me, I think of design as more about problem solving for making. My name is Jeffrey Mayers, and I consider myself a hybrid industrial designer and strategist focused on human-centered innovation here at Brandform. At Brandform, we are hired by clients who have tough questions that they need to solve. And companies like PayPal ask questions like, what is the future of retail payments in terms of thinking about evolving software into hardware business models? In terms of process, our first approach is what we call the immersion or the pre-discovery phase. That's when the team dives into understanding the company and their business and how they operate today. Then we dive into activity where the team actually goes out to explore both virtual and physical spaces and talking with people who use and work with your products or services. Once we analyze the information and the data, we are able to synthesize insights into opportunity areas for the client by developing conceptual narratives and story maps that include early business models. The conversation is not always about leveraging design to solve a problem early on in the process. It's more about leveraging systems thinking and ideas as a way to increase the probability of getting to a successful business design outcome. Companies today looking to grow often find themselves caught between conventional and newer approaches to innovation. It has become obvious that companies and individuals defined by traditional business design frames are struggling to become ambidextrous in terms of managing the present while creating breakthrough innovation for the future. As a result, unfortunately, we are surrounded by careless design, closed corporate cultures, and mediocre ambition. You can recognize these environments because they continue to invest in today's knowledge and manage that knowledge more efficiently. This won't guarantee your survival when the inevitable disruption arrives. Just ask anyone in the newspaper business. Furthermore, for too long, design thinking and doing has been obsessed with and limited to improving user experiences and design aesthetics. While this is a tangible and desirable benefit, it, does, it often doesn't deliver on the goal of creating new sources of growth innovation that makes a business sustainable, including revenue and margin. The fact is, value doesn't flow automatically when you create a great user experience or a product with unique aesthetics. In essence, you have to design the surrounding business system, including critical pieces like the revenue cost model, in order to amplify the overall economic design impact and the opportunities. In other words, if you start by burdening business ideas and design concept with today's business design logic, you will end up with only incremental improvements, and most likely your future will be more or less like the present. To me, the act of innovation is not an exercise in service design or tweaking numbers on a spreadsheet to match expectations. It's about configuring and embracing a holistic and viable business design process creatively. In certain instances, even pivoting from the core businesses themselves as a way to address and influence a customer's willingness to pay for a product or service. It's about creating a roadmap or a, a vision that identifies the gap between what is and what could be. To achieve this, we need to ask questions like, why would people want to pay for your product or service? Leveraging design research, how does your product line up with what they value? What do you need to change? For example, the mindsets, the market conditions or the behaviors in order for people to want to pay. Once these key value propositions are identified, it is usually the responsibility and the role of the designer who is experienced and trained in craft to translate the key insights and the patterns into a visual language defined by beauty, purpose, and meaning that, work is, that works as a competitive advantage in the marketplace. This is what I tell my clients. For me, this is what amplifies and captures the basics essence of design innovation.